What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, bitch, you, and you feel me? And today, maybe another video, man. Today, 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 we're acting to Judge Joe Brown. You know how we get down. I'm gonna try to get some Judge Judy clips, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways, let's get straight to the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, man. I'm barely ready for a surprise, you feel me? And I'm excited. <laughs> a woman has to fight Shout a great disciple, too. Want to watch on your own time? Played go down below the description. Sooner former employer for a week's worth of wages. Defendant Aaron McKenzie says he's already paid more than was due. Now it's Joe time. Ms. Gilbert, you are uh, suing your former employer, Mr. McKenzie, who you allege has failed to pay you your last week's wages before your, I take it, part-time and temporary job uh, expired. Now, Mr. McKenzie, uh, you're doing business as Caring Angels Home Health Service. You allege that you had been paying her more than you agreed to pay her, so she should not be aggrieved. Now, uh, did you make any inquiries to your compensation for the last week of employment? Yes, I did. Uh, um, what was the result of that initial inquiry? Well, he would not return or receive any of my phone calls. Um, the check that I was supposed to receive would have been January 30th. By February 26th, I still had not received my check. On February 15th, I Did went, you go to pick that up on the date indicated? 26. I called, well, yes, I, no, I didn't go that day. I called and I was told that my check would not be there. I went up there on February 15th. But that was the day it was supposed to have been ready? Yes. All right. When I went on February 15th, I was told that he was in a meeting. And I told them, okay, I'll wait. He sent um, one of the other employees there and they, told, they were talking to me, um, basically saying that he, they hadn't gotten their checks yet and that he wasn't going to come out to the front to talk to me. So now, let's, let's, your case is pretty straightforward in terms of what you present and in the way you present it in your sworn complaint. Now, it looks like you say you were advised uh, that you would get a call from the human relations department of the business, son. Yes, that's what he told the police when he called the police on me the day I went up there to, to ask about checked. my check. All right, so yes. take it you went to see about oh, collecting your paycheck. The police on, called player? and he advised them that the business's human relations department would call you. But to your knowledge, information, and belief, there is no human relations department with this particular business. Correct. He is the human resource department. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Now, you say you only work for him three days a week for three months. Yes. Oh, uh, it's not a lot of money, but, you know, you need what you earn. And I'd say you're 26 and have one son. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. You married? No. Single parent, head of household, and you need the money. Yes. I feel that if I did the work that he asked, then I should be accountable. I should be able to get my check. Just like okay. he would want his check. If he, you know, when he works, he gets his check. I should be able to get mine. Now, you give me a, a, an hour log, hours work, and your pay stubs uh, from your compensation. Yes. And I have you them as part of your sworn accounting. Let's go to the defendant. What do you have to say, sir? Well, Your Honor, <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. It's evident that she can't add. Hey, yo. And what I'm going to say, she did do her job. However... You know, this company did not receive any federal money as of yet. It was being funded from my pocket and my partner's pocket. Well, so what you're saying is, is I'm sorry I was uh, counting on no, getting what I'm some saying subsidy is she has her from a government wrong, agency. Your Honor. That's what I'm saying. She has her figures wrong. I Your Honor, I have her paycheck stubs, too. I went over yours. Gosh. I have her paycheck stubs. And as you can see, I raised her amount. No, 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 no. First of all. I'm not disrespecting the person, you know what I'm saying? I was just not expecting that at all, you know what I'm saying? I was not expecting that, you feel me? That's all I'm finna say. That just caught me off guard, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking, hey, yo, what up? You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Oh, you know what That's what I'm saying. She has her figures and wrong. And you little sass with her. Yeah, and I have her paycheck stubs, too. I went over yours. It's gonna be funny I now. have her paycheck stubs, and as you can see, I raised her amount, and she was not notified over the phone of a layoff. She came into the office, of which I took one day from her, and I raised her to, up to eleven fifty from nine fifty. No, I didn't. Incorrect. I'm not saying that. Oh, because I raised your money, I don't owe you anything. Prove to me I owe you some money. I owe you nothing. I don't owe you anything. 
anything. I find it And that's why when the cops came to the office. Since we're going this way, may I ask you why, when you had the choice, <laughs> why did you send us a picture of yourself <laughs> with a red, what is this, a bowler bowl? hat perched on your head, two sizes too small? I didn't send that. <laughs> How do we manage to get this if you didn't send it? Or did you forget about this when we ask everyone to please send us a current photo? <laughs> From my office party. But I didn't send that. She must have sent that. I looked at a log and I looked at the rate of pay and I looked at what's supposed to be owed. It looks like there's one week shy in terms of well, last somebody week gonna have pay. To show me because I have not messed up nobody's hours. No one's hours. Mm -hmm. And I know I went to school and went to school for a long time, darling. How long did you go to school? You need to go back. That's not my problem. How long did you go to school? I'm curious. How long? What's long enough? Long enough to secure the employment. I got a doctorate degree. How long did you go to school? I also have a doctorate degree. In what? Nursing practices. At 25 years old? At 25. Homeschooled. What was your thesis? My thesis was on neonatal Woo! care. Neonatal care. Where did you go to school? University of Phoenix Online. Okay, okay. As I was saying, <laughs> I know how to count. I've been counting and I've been doing it well. Oh, you messed up. I didn't mess up on anything. Because if you look at the days that you worked and what you turned into me, Cuz, cuz, I'm not gonna lie. He actually put Judge Joe Brown in his place, cuz he made. <laughs> hey, I'm giving you props right here. I'm giving you props. He put the judge in his place. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That would imply that it's impossible for me to make a mistake. Therefore, if it's impossible for you to make a mistake, I've never made a mistake in life. So I take it that every single grade that you have acquired during the course of your academic career has been an A, yes? I never said I'd never make a mistake well, in my life. Well, if you get straight A's, obviously you made But I have not made any mistakes with her payroll. I know that much. <laughs> I haven't made no mistakes with, no, with nobody's money. That's because you don't give it to them. <laughs> we'll be right back with Chuck Joe Brown. Social, social unemployment denied. That's because you didn't play the insurance. Don't talk to me. Talk to him. Talk to him. I don't care. The defendant in this case says the plaintiff has made an accounting error. He strikes a pose to make the point that he is more hey, than you got qualified. Judge, you got Judge Shook, though. I'm not going to lie. Judge is talk, talking to him nice Let's right now. He's not talking to him, you know what I'm saying? You know what NLRB is? National Labor Relations Board. Mm -hmm. You could go to them she uh, about to a them wage and hour like violation. Went before and they her. You could go so to uh, so the Illinois State Board. Because you didn't board. play the insurance. Don't talk to me. Talk to him. You need to talk to him. I don't care. Uh, when I counted it up, I get the same thing she gets. So my opinion is that, or the, shall we be formal, the opinion of the arbitrator is that the plaintiff in this cause has carried her burden of proof. And, by the way, your state has a penalty for willful failure to pay wages, which doubles them, so you get $622 instead of the 311 that you proved and your cost. Oh, that's only the minimum civil okay. penalty on that. There we go. Damn, that's it. The defendant brought the entire human resources department. He just didn't bring a defense. And according to the new math, the plaintiff is owed her final week's work. She wins. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Great Disciple. You know what I'm saying? Even when I saw your own time, never really down on the description. I am not going to lie. I was low key on the dude's side because this dude was, you know, he was talking with confidence. I, I, I don't really see, you know what I'm saying, a defendant talk with confidence. This guy was talking with confidence, you know what I'm saying? But the plaintiff did win, and I felt like Judge Joe couldn't say too much because, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't stereotypical, you feel me? Because, you know, the judge was expecting, you know, oh, this guy's not doing nothing. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about, blah, blah, blah. And he was just talking about, you know what I'm saying? He was talking with pride and honor, you feel me? And he knows what he done, you know? So respected that dude at the same time. But hey, if you ain't pay her, you got to pay her, you know what I'm saying? Everybody deserves to get the money for the work they do, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's free in this world, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, 
you know, I got to give it to that dude, bro. I don't care, bro. That was a man of the show today. It wasn't the judge, man. That was a man of the show. But anyways, y'all, make sure you like it, comment, your share, subscribe, new to the channel with your boy. Bang it two times, you feel me? Man, I'm out of the bed, man. We're going to win 100K, man. Let's get it popping, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha.